Hello again, everybody. Tiger727 back with another video. Uh, this is going to be my uh, continuation of my PC collection, the letter J's. And of course, you can see we're going to start with Bo Jackson. Um, not a lot of Bo Jackson, but I, I got a little bit. Um, and if you watch my previous video about the uh, late 80s and early, early 90s Donruss, about the variations, uh, one thing I failed to mention with the 90 Donruss is there's also a factory set uh, border with this stuff with the 90 Donruss um, where this these black spots on the red border um, are in a different spot when it comes to factory sets or packs and then um, talked about the border with the 88 Donruss there but anyway moving on uh, a lot of base stuff here yeah, of course, no one wants to go out of focus on me. You can see the electric diamond here from the 93 upper deck when he was with the Angels. Got some uh, more early 90s stuff here. 80, uh, this is a, like a heritage or vintage, uh, or archives I should say. Uh, Bo Jackson, that's not actually the, 80, the 88, uh, but it is a reprint. Uh, 87 Rookie. You know, more and more lately, for whatever reason, I'm starting to like this 87 Donruss. As a kid, I just thought it was not very appealing, but maybe it's just my age catching up with me or something, but I'm starting to like that set more and more. Um, more early, obviously, early 90s stuff. Upper deck in the top right. Leaf. Flare Ultra. I have the big score card, shoulder pad card. I remember when that thing was what everybody wanted. You couldn't find one for less than $8, and now it doesn't sound like much. But when I was a kid, $8 to shell out on one card was a lot of money. And uh, I remember if only certain few kids had it. And I always went to the card store and just kind of hoped to have, have one someday. And lo and behold, it happened. Um, this is a Berger's Best, I think. It's not the actual 87. Uh, Speaking of that, though, keep in mind when, when you look when, when I'm going through my PC here, um, you probably not. I mean, I've so I went through a lot of this stuff, but I removed a lot of the tops base, uh, the Bowman base, um, because I already have those in the sets, and I decided I no longer want doubles. So any of these cards or these players that you see, I also have them in a, in a set as long as they played from '77 to the current year. Um, I do not collect much football anymore. Um, I actually debated about getting rid of my Bo Jackson football cards because uh, I only focus on baseball now, but I still can't part with them, so I'm just going to hang on to them for now. And Charles Johnson. Never had much of a major league career. Um, I just always liked Charles Johnson. Uh, he was one of the original Marlins in the early 90s. So, I became a Marlins fan when they first came into the league, and then I kind of fizzled out. But I've uh, always been partial to the Marlins. The uh, 97 World Series and the uh, 01, or I'm sorry, the uh, 03 World Series um, just stick out in my mind for some reason. So, some more Charles Johnson there. A couple more. Um... Never was a big, you know, I did collect basketball a little bit, but I was never a big Michael Jordan fan when it came to basketball. But I did pick up his, uh, I wanted to pick up his um, baseball stuff. So here's some minor league action packed. Um, I think this came out of that collection I purchased this past summer. The collector's choice stuff I've had for quite a few years. And I got a few others here I'll show you here shortly once I get out of the binder. Aaron Judge. Um, he's had a quiet year and a half injury prone um, back in 17 he was he was quite the quite the deal so I'm hoping he kind of has a bounce back here and uh, this Beckett one you see with mantle on the upper right on the front is is, is judge and I forget where I even got that from I can't remember um, holiday card from 2019 and then Bowman Chrome. 
Yeah, right. we'll move up here real quick. Show you a few of these. Collector's Choice, Michael Jordan rookies. Uh, the, there's the base and then the gold, the gold auto or a gold signature. I think Collector's Choice had silver and, and gold that year. That's the gold. Uh, another Jordan rookie and then the electric diamond next to it. Sorry for the shakiness here, but I'm just holding my phone here. Uh, the reprint of the Judge from 83, I believe it is. And then the 30th anniversary, 1987, Aaron Judge. Superstar Sensation. Um, I didn't realize I actually have two of these All Rise uh, short prints, but I do have two of those. And that's his Chrome Rookie. And just a base tops Chrome. Another base tops Chrome. A couple more rookies there. Just realized I think I'm. I got some some elsewhere too that I have uh, that I don't have here. Uh, one of my favorite cards of all time is this 07 Tops. Um, obviously, you got Mickey Mantle. If you guys aren't aware of this card, uh, you got Mickey Mantle in the dugout, and then President George Bush in the in the, in the stands. Um, this card was going for I think about a hundred dollars back in 2007, 2008, because everybody wanted it. If I remember the story correctly, it was a Tops employee that just thought it would be funny to insert Mantle and President Bush into the card, and uh, I think he got fired over it actually. So probably wasn't thinking it was too funny after that, but. Either which way, it's a sought-after car. Uh, they've gone down big time in price uh, over, over the years, but uh, just something cool to have in the collection. I'm not a big Jeter fan, um, but I did pick up this Topps Project 2020 this past summer. Uh, just really like the card. It's just that vintage heritage look to it uh, that I really like, and um, obviously a Hall of Famer, um, so first ballot. So, yeah, that's the Jays. I won't keep any more. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, take care.